So in this episode, we're exploring the sandwich scene in Singapore. We'll be trying out American style sammies, bagels, banh mi, and Scandinavian open face sandwiches. Which stack bread option will be the best? Let's go find out. Welcome to Food Finders. Today we're gonna load up on some bun. Okay. We have already been told our missions. Two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Your mission today is to high five Jen. Is it like as many times as yeah, possible? Yeah, as many times as, as possible. Many, uh, okay. Yeah, Jen, your mission today is to feed Sam. Feed. Okay. Okay, high five, let's go. Hey, don't hot high five. <laughs> We are here at Koryo in Far East Square. Koryo is very famous for their American style sandwiches. They have Brooklyn style donuts that I'm also quite interested to taste. But I don't know where it stands in the field of sandwiches. Oh, Is that more like a bagel again? A bagel. You have one hand, I have one hand. <laughs> I got a Caprice. Sandwich with two kind of cheeses or three kind of cheeses from That's what like I see. A lot of cheeses, man. You know what I love? What? This crust. Ooh. It's like yeah, perfectly yeah. It very golden brown, deep, and my yeah. hand is greasy already. Oh, so oh. Look at that burst of acidity. Is that meat in this or is it just cheese? It's, no, it's just it's cheese, just cheese right? onions, tomato, and basil. It's so simple, but like you will keep going back to it. Oh, shit, this is really good, sandwich. Mm -hmm. You know what will make it better? Meat. This is the biggie. So this one has, doesn't have like the tomatoes and the basil, but instead there's meat, ham. Oh yeah, ham. So this is like a very atas ham cheese sandwich. Mmm. Mm. I smell a couple. So this is like ham and cheese, basically. This is a very good ham and cheese. The ham is also like the premium ham. Thinly sliced, no off colour. The bread is completely like perfectly toasted. Like you get that really nice crunch and then that gooeyness. And the fillings and everything is so mm. good. I like how it's not getting soggy. Because oh. they fried the bread and butter. But I think between these two, I prefer the caprice. Because of the freshness. But I know you like meat, so... I like meat, yeah. So clear favourite for me was the, the ham one. Okay, technically this is not a sandwich, but our producer is very insistent to still get the donut because it's the signature. It's a honey glaze with um, honey glaze. smoked sea salt. It's so fluffy. Ooh, can I, can I eat this? Okay, uh, I want to try this. I love glazed donut. They ask you how you are eating. Oh, it's salt. It's like salt incredibly so, so fluffy. Eh. It's quite a different style of donut. A lot it's more fluffy. It's not chewy. It's, it's softer, more like yeah. it's like cake. I don't really get the honey notes. I just get like icing with like the smoke. salt. Salt. Yeah. You get the salt. And what do we have here? So pandan, coconut, gula melaka. The icing has like pandan essence on it. Ooh. Okay, this is like very heavy. Because oh. the dough. A deer, a female deer. The gula maca is very buttery as well. It's quite nice actually. I actually like this more than the glaze. I would say donut is like okay for me. Sandwiches ah. So that's it for the sandwiches at Koro. It's a good start. Let's see yeah. if we can find even better sandwiches in Singapore. We're at possibly the most famous bagel house in Singapore. Two men bagels! We're both big fans. Big fans. So we're really yes. excited to be here. <laughs> Bagels are here! It's an open face bagel. I feel like it's easier to eat. So interestingly, it's a raw tuna with gochujang yep. and like avocado. With edamame mash that it's looks edamame. like avocado. The what other bagel we have is the Daisy Duke. It's braised beef. Double cheddar, oh, jalapenos. Cheddar, jalapeno. Pickled cabbage and hash brown right. and gravy. So the oh, gravy oh, is like oh. separate. One thing I really like about two-man bagel, right, is they take all the things that I love and then they just Whack it into Whack one it bagel. Okay. Logically, it doesn't really make sense, but then it somehow works. But it looks like proper greasy, which is what oh, you want in a sandwich. Whoa. And then this is their hair crumble and oat milk. Anyway, I think this is like falling apart. Maybe we try this first. But super hearty. I just like how, how they make their bagels also decadent. This definitely don't feel like American. It's like, you know when you have like a appetizer and it's like a raw tuna, spicy tuna appetizer and usually like the base would be something like really crunchy. This one is like a crusty bagel. So it feels more like a light meal than like a heavy sandwich. I really like it. It's like all the things that I love. Like I love braised beef, I love hard browns. I love cheese, I love bread, like oh shit, it's all like stuff inside. Don't eat everything! Okay, let me try your fancy fondue. 
Oh my god. This is crazy, right? Is it? It tastes like a really yummy big breakfast in like a bag. I like yours more. I like the tuna gochujang, but like edamame on a bagel. Not the usual Sumen bagel house, very hearty, like boom in your face. I think this is like representative of like what they always do. Mm. The ponyo is more of like a twist on their classic. If you want something really light, but you still want to eat their bagels, yeah. I think the ponyo would work. Yeah, it's, it's lighter, um, but And this yeah. in between is so good. It's like a milkshake, but it's very healthy tasting. Pretty much it for two men bagel house, always a fan favorite. But annoying though, they sell at 2.30, like what the hell? Because they're just that famous. Why well, can't you make more? Make more. I'm being a demanding consumer, which makes businesses rich. No, <laughs> so, like it makes a life yeah. difficult. The staff have the OT and then have a bad work life balance. Pay them more. So we are now at East Coast at La Saigon. It is operated by a Vietnamese. So we're here to have sourdough bun mi. So they do the all bread. their breads in house okay. and it's made with sourdough. Let's go into the aircon because it's very hot. Let's try this big coffee thing with rum cake. Cheers. Don't drink too much. Oh my god, it's like is this super sweet? thick. It tastes like kaloa. It's like an eggnog-ish. Egg and coffee weirdly kind of works. Yeah. So the okay. main guess is here. It's very obvious, it's like sourdough mm. bread. Because usually like the crust is thicker uh -huh. and it looks more uh -huh. like crunchy. So it's very different from traditional banh mi that is like usually using like more soft and pillowy fluffy bread. Just the pork belly one. Look at that uh -huh. layer of fat. Mm. Wow. The fork the, is rendered very well. Yeah, the fork is like super tender. I wasn't expecting it. I thought it was gonna be like chewy. It's still solid, but it's melty. Almost like a butter kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know how they do that fork, but the fork is damn good. I try to interest in the skin as well. Oh, oh, the fork is so good. I like the, the dressing or the yeah. sauce they use inside. Not overly sweet or not overly sour. It balances the whole thing very well. That's like the best part. Ah, ah. Let's move on to the next sandwich. We haven't thought about the amazing about the chips. chips. It's purple sweet potato. Is it purple sweet potato? Which I appreciate. Because usually people serve sandwiches with fries and potato chips. But this is healthier. I don't think bun me like there's no sides or like. But I like sides, so I appreciate it. I really like lemongrass chicken, so let's see. It looks very promising. Oh, oh, oh. I think the first flavour that hits me is coriander. I'm actively trying to find lemongrass. Have la. Lemongrass is a very understated flavour. Huh. So it gives an aroma to like whatever protein it has, which contributes to the whole sandwich. Straightforward for me is like this, yum yum. This. But I like this too. What do you prefer? I like this one. But I have to pick one sandwich. Definitely roast pot. Yeah. The roast pot is solid. We are done with La Saigon. So we're gonna move off to the next place. Okay, last one here. Bye. That was a we very bad clip. <laughs> Try again. I'm suddenly very excited because it's the last place. This is Jen's personal recommendation. Overbroad. Over, is it broad? Overbroad. Okay, so the one that I really want to try is this. It's okay, not cool. a sandwich. Okay. It's actually hay smoked butter. And then they mash roasted new potatoes and it tastes amazing. This is like yes. a atas Ikea meatballs. because they also sell like Swedish meatballs. Right, right. And then we have the skagen. Skagen is basically a cold shrimp toast. So there's a cold dish and then this is a hot sandwich. So they call it shooting star. <laughs> I want to try. I try the non sandwiches first. Hay smoked butter potato. I'm trying to feel the hay. It's pretty subtle, but the potatoes taste great though. I okay. would say like the first time I ate this, it was like potent with the, the smoky mm. smell. Maybe today is a bit different in the batch. It's mm. still pretty good. All right, meatballs. Oh, I love meatballs though. Maybe I'm just too used to Ikea meatballs. Why? Is it different? <laughs> of course, it's so different. I like the pickle. It elevates it. But the lingonberry is like sour. So let's move on. It's like an egg meal with bun. This is the bread. It has like Pop. fennel seeds in it. And it adds to the flavour. Fennel flavour is super strong. Do they make their own bread? Because it's very rare to see like fennel I mean, I've never eaten a fennel bread. Huh? Do you guys make your own bread? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah! See, you know haddock is like a very traditional fish in Scandinavia. They use haddock for everything. By the time you get to Singapore, a lot of the haddock that I've had dry. Last year, like yeah, it's very dry. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Probably like it's not haddock. Hey. I told you. What the? This is 
Fish is up. Another. Really good filet of fish. Best filet of fish ever. It's all the same. Oh, the fish is so flaky. Oh, but the yeah, the fish yeah. is very good. It's quite hearty also. But fennel bread works really well here. Yeah? I think this is like my favorite out of. Yep, but it's not very Nordic though if you think about it. It's more fusion-y. We know when you put like a fried fish with cooked fish and then it grew out on top. I feel like it already becomes its own thing. Dude, this is the entire life cycle of a fish. <laughs> it's definitely a star today. Favorite here is shooting star. I think for me, like why I like this place is because they really elevate the cafe experience. They bring you things that is very true to the nature of it. That means it's Nordic mm. cuisine. And then they give you like the good stuff. I like how a lot of the things are made inside. Right? Look at the freaking kitchen, it's yeah. tiny it's so small, and they're so making their own bread. So yes, that's it for Overbrewed. We are now <sighs> going to oh, finally close up our sandwich episode. 3, 2, 1, action! Okay, so I've been thinking and I've been like trying to observe, but I felt like he did nothing. Flashback. High five. Action. He did nothing. End of flashback. Okay, so Jen's mission. Oh my god, there was, there was. Ah, ah. What's his mission? His mission was high five. Oh my god! Yes. So you have to hold it. Okay, we have to recreate the idiot sandwich. <laughs> Who's an idiot sandwich? You have to do okay. it more fierce, lah. Uh. You're Gordon Ramsay, you know. Okay. What are you? What are you? I'm an idiot sandwich. What's your favorite sandwich of the day? One, two, okay, one, three. Two, three. Two baby girls. Ew. Okay, okay. Anyways, I was gonna say overbrook. I uh, love the shooting star. Okay, thank you everybody. Please remember to like and subscribe. Oh! <laughs> 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 Wait, 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 don't litter, guys. Yeah, pick up the bread. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>